A man addressing an unseen crowd. Big strong boys for farm work, he says. 400. 700. 700. 800. The numbers roll in. These men are sold for 1,200 Libyan pounds, $400 a piece. You are watching an auction of human beings. Another man, claiming to be a buyer. Off camera, someone asks, what happened to the ones from Niger? Sold off, he's told. CNN was sent this footage by contact. After months of working, we were able to verify the authenticity of what you see here. We decided to travel to Libya to try and see for ourselves. We're now in Tripoli and we're starting to get a little bit more of a sense of how this all works. Our contacts are telling us that there are one to two of these auctions every month and that there is one happening in the next few hours. So we're going to head out of town and see if we can get some sort of access to it. For the safety of our contacts, we have agreed not to divulge the location of this auction, but the town we're driving to isn't the only one. Night falls. We travel through nondescript suburban neighborhoods, pretending to look for a missing person. Eventually, we stop outside a house like any other. adjust our secret cameras and wait. Finally, it's time to move. We're ushered into one of two auctions happening on this same night. Crouched at the back of the yard, a floodlight obscuring much of the scene. One by one, men are brought out as the bidding begins. 400, 500, 550, 600, 650, 700. Very quickly, it's over. We ask if we can speak to the men, the auctioneer, seen here refuses. We ask again if we can speak to them, if we can help them. No, he says. The auctions are over, we're told. And we're asked to leave. That was over very quickly. We walked in, and as soon as we walked in, the men started covering their faces, but they clearly wanted to finish what they were doing and they kept bringing out what they kept referring to in Arabic as al buda the merchandise. All in all, they admitted to us that there were 12 Nigerians that were sold in front of us. And I, I honestly don't know what to say. That was probably one of the most unbelievable things I've ever seen. If they don't want to take us to Italy, let, them, let, let us take us to our various countries. These men are migrants with dreams of being smuggled to Europe by sea. Excuse me, can I speak to you? We are going inside. Have a seat in your place. Have a seat in your place. They come in their thousands from Niger, Mali, Nigeria, Ghana. It's hard to believe that these are the lucky ones, rescued from warehouses like the one in which we witnessed the auction. They're sold if those warehouses become overcrowded or if they run out of money to pay their smugglers. Of these rescued men, so many here say they were held against their will. It doesn't take us long to find victory. Just take us home. No food. Just take us home. What a boy. No food, no water, nothing. Victory was a slave. We know that some people are being sold. Yes. Some people are being sold. Is this yes. something you've heard about? Can you tell yes. us about it? Sure. Tell us. I was sold. What happened? On my way coming, I was sold. 
Merciless beating. If you look at most of the people here, if you check their body, you see the mark, they're beating. With electric, even your boot or they took something, something like a sharp object. Understand? Most of them lost their life there. Um, I was there, the, the person who came to buy me, give the man money. They took me out home. So the money was not even much. Other migrants now start to come forward with their stories. They took people to work by force. Even where we are at the seaside, where we are, where we are, where are working the work, they will be beating you. When you are working the work, I'm doing your work. They will be maltreating us. But I promise you, I will take care of your husband and dad. Anas Al Azabi is the supervisor here. With no international support, it's his job to look after the captured migrants until they can be deported. He says every day brings fresh heartbreak. It's okay. I'm suffering for them. I am suffering for them. What I have seen here daily, believe me, make me really feel pain for them. They come and every story is a special case. Few, they, they was abusing them, few, they, they stole their money. Have you heard about people being auctioned off, about migrants being sold? Honestly, we hear the rumors, but there is nothing is obvious in front of us. We don't have uh, evidence. But we now do. CNN has delivered this evidence to the Libyan authorities who have promised to launch an investigation so that scenes like this are returned to the past. Namal Bagher, CNN, Libya.